The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Obed Aqua, says personnel of the security agencies will not hesitate to defend themselves when attacked in the line of duty. He has been addressing the Aogo traditional council in the Ashanti region during a fact-finding mission to end the conflict between nomadic headsmen and farming communities. Here's a report by Ibrahim Abubakar. Four security personnel, including three military officers and one police officer, were shot and wounded by nomadic headsmen during an operation to evacuate cattle from Argolands last week. The incident led to a renewed drive by government to remove all cattle and the nomads from the area. Over 200 military and police personnel have been deployed to Argoan environs to enforce the evacuation exercise. Lieutenant General Obi Akwa assured the people of Argo of a relentless fight to evict the headsmen from the area to end the conflict. No attack on a soldier or a policeman or any other security person or in fact the ordinary citizenry of Ghana shall go without a response. We consider that attack an attack on the state. Queen Mother of Agu traditional area, Nana Draben Afrakuma Sewakusi, pleaded with the security personnel to execute the attacks professionally. <laughs> We will rally behind the tax force to ensure the conflict is resolved. Some cattle owners say they have complied with the directive but claim their cattle are being killed indiscriminately by the tax force. Meanwhile, security expert Dr. Kwesi Enen in an interview on 3FM warned there could be an outbreak of diseases into the country if the appropriate institutions fail to check the health status of cattle owned by nomadic headsmen crossing Ghana's international boundary. If all these cattle crossing harbour are owned by nomadic headsmen, then a fair percentage or proportion of them have crossed our international boundaries. Now, the rule says, Every single cattle crossing an international boundary must have a health certificate of sorts. Let's check with the veterinary services. How many of these cattle have been checked and that their health certificates were in order so they don't bring eradicated diseases in, back into this country?